Hi, this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast, where CEOs, COOs, and business owners share strategies for success. This is six questions in nine minutes because the best strategies are concise business advice. And with that, we're going to be concise and jump in with our guest today. And so question number one, in a few sentences, tell us who you are and what you do. Ryan McElby, I'm the Executive Director of the Idaho Innovation Center in Idaho Falls. I'm also a consultant with the Small Business Development Center here in Eastern Idaho. Awesome, great to have you on. So question number two, what's the best thing about being a business leader? Probably, you know, as I get the opportunity to speak to different organizations, probably the biggest thing I can say on there is the opportunity to inspire others. To, to get them to do the disciplines that are right in business to, uh, and to get them, um, you know, doing different pivots to, in a business to, to make them so they're heading in the right direction. And that's the opportunity just to help other people to reach their maximum uh, abilities. And see their successes. That's, yes, that's awesome. That's a, a great thing to feel internally as well, knowing that you're a part of that. You betcha. So question number three, I hear from other business leaders that their people strategy is often more complex, more difficult in their business than their actual business strategy. What are your thoughts on that? Well, the, the key to a successful company by far is the employees. And so you're right, the, the people strategy is, is always important. I mean, it, everybody has to have a business strategy, uh, a business plan, a game plan of where they're going at. But Yes, the, the, the thing that's really the most crucial in any organization is the people that you get behind it. It's the gas you pour in the engine. It's, uh, it's what makes the company operate. So, so yes, it is, the people strategy is absolutely important, so. Well, I like the gas analogy. That's a good analogy, so. It is, it's, it's the gas that runs any, you know, just like the, what runs a car, the gas is what uh, runs the engine of a business. All right. Well, question number four, then. What strategy would you like to share with other business leaders today? Probably one of the things that I've seen the most success with is, uh, is like I said, the keys to, are the employees. And, and one of the things that's really that I've, I've worked with a lot of companies in, in developing is, is that they become one with their employees. Not only do you have to have the, the employee, right employees in the right seats on the, on the bus, as Jim Collins um, states in Good to Great, you have to, you have to inspire them to, to, to stay with the company. And uh, one of the things that I've done that's been the most successful that I feel like has been a really successful trait with the companies that I've worked with is making sure that employers are doing employee reviews faithfully for the first six months of, a, of an employee, you should be meeting monthly with that employee. For every time, every after that, you need to be meeting at a minimum of once every quarter, if not every, at the latest, every, once every six months, so biannually. And, uh, and having a structured uh, employee review, if you do this and you're on the same page with all of your employees, that's when you will have the right employees on the bus um, doing the right jobs. And uh, I always make it a point that when I do my employee reviews that, uh, that we look at each other and we give each other a thumbs up. And at that point, you know that the employee's on board and, uh, and it's crucial. And if you want to know where your employees sit, you need to have a closed door one-on-one -on -one meeting um, at the minimum of every six months with those employees. And, uh, and I encourage you to use a structured form um, that you use on that so that it's, it's a pattern that they're evaluating themselves and you're evaluating them and that uh, you're on the same page and that I have this evaluation form that if there's ever more than the word, their evaluation and your evaluation is more than one number off, you take a time out and you sit and, uh, and talk about why there is a discrepancy. Why do they consider themselves a five out of a five and you only give them a three out of five? It is important that you're on the same page and you talk about, if there's one digit number, you can discuss a little bit, do some course correcting, but if there's more than ever one number, more than two numbers, that you need to take a time out and, and to really focus on what it is that, 
why is the discrepancy of the employee and yours opinions different in that area? And if you do this with employees, you'll be on the same page, your company will grow. And if it, you may not as, a, as an owner or CEO of the company be able to do this with all your employees, but their supervisors need to be making sure that they're responsible for doing that for their employees. And Very that's good. what it takes to be successful. So for me, the most successful companies that, are, that do the employees reviews will be the most successful out there in business and have the most successful and happy and fulfilled employees. Well, and two things I really liked about that is <clears throat> one, you know, as you were emphasized, getting an agreement with the employees so that you know that you're both on the same page. So yes. there's no question mark later on as to was there an understanding kind of a thing. The other part I really liked is like you said, with new employees to get in there and do evaluations often. There's a lot of businesses that it seems like, you know, six months later, the employees starting to get set in their ways and they've never had any course correction. They've never had anything. And like I said, some bad habits can start forming and, and getting cemented. So For the first three to six months of a new employee, you've got to be doing it on a monthly basis. So they get into the pattern of seeing you doing it every single month. And then it's after that by quarterly and then by semi-annually. So that's a great strategy and great advice. All right. Question number five, what other successful business owners, CEOs like yourself, would you like to acknowledge here or you think would be good on this podcast? A couple of people that have inspired me locally here in Eastern Idaho, um, Jeff Newgard's the Bank, uh, Bank of Idaho CEO, absolutely phenomenal um, uh, and inspiring leader. There's a reason why he's taken the bank here uh, throughout and, and expanded throughout the whole state and just doing absolutely phenomenal things. Another guy that's done phenomenal things in his industry um, is Drew Facer. He's the CEO of uh, Idaho and Foods up here in Eastern Idaho absolutely dynamic uh, leader um, in his industry and, and just absolutely powerful. They've grown, both of them have grown very successful organizations. All right, question number six, just a final fun question. Tell me about your favorite past boss. So I've really only had one boss. I've been the boss, I guess, for the last 20 years. I've had uh, multiple companies that I've uh, grown and sold, um, three, three very successful ones, one moderately. Um, so, but, uh, but before that, I worked for a company right out of college, uh, Utah State University, for a company in Utah called Alert Cellular. When I left there seven years ago, seven years later, um, back uh, in the early 2000s, that, that they had 77 stores, and I had the opportunity of helping them open up a majority of those stores. But the one thing about that Dave Esky did is that he followed through on every single one of his commitments. And he treated his, his key people um, like gold. And that's a, that's a crucial thing. I had the opportunity of, of being the general manager for the company for many years before I opened up my own businesses. And he inspired me to go out and, and take that, uh, that uh, leap of faith to open up my own business. Um, he treated me like kings. I was able to travel significantly um, for quite a while and it was uh, absolutely fun that he sent uh, me and, and my wife to Hawaii and other places. It was great to always know that he backed things up and I did this before I sold my rather large company back in 2009. I took every one of my employees to Cancun, um, well, my, all my key managers at that time to Cancun and it was just absolutely phenomenal to follow through on your promises. And he did that, Dave Esky with Alert Cellular, absolutely phenomenal. I still keep in touch with him today. So, well, and that really builds trust and integrity to follow through on those things. So, exactly. Great. Well, hey, it's been great having you on today. Real quick, we're almost out of time, but tell people how they can get a hold of you. Um, you can visit our, our website at uh, innovateidaho.org um, or the, the SBDC website is I. IdahoSBDC.org, um, and you can uh, see the information there and what's available. Um, we uh, do a lot of coaching to help businesses successful. All right. Well, again, thanks for being on. It's been a pleasure. And this is Keith Weaver with the Top Executive Strategy Podcast. And for more insights and to follow us, you can follow us at Weaver Business Coaching on LinkedIn or on your favorite podcast platform. And we wish you the best success.